Hey everybody, it's Sadie from Hip in Detroit doing my first interview of 2021. I'm super excited to be back at it, talking to one of my all-time favorite acts in Detroit, uh, Pasalakwa. Welcome to our Zoom stream, I guess that's what we're going to call this. It's good Hi, to be in Brian. the Zoom stream. Hi. Brian, so good to see both of you. Good to see you too. Yeah, you're um, well. Okay, so congratulations on putting out an album. That's obviously a huge deal. But I just have to start with, I go to research this and I start reading Milo's article and I'm like, wow, it's been 10 years since they put something out. Well, I must have not known about that because it can't be that long ago since, you know, I'm like looking and I'm like, nope, nope, it's that long ago. It really, <laughs> like time has flown by, but it seems like, I was interviewing you two seconds ago. I don't know. It just kind of shocked me. I, I don't even know what my point was. I just don't know how this happened. I don't know how it's like eight, nine years later and you guys are putting out another album. We, I think we kind of feel the same of 10 years went by really fast. A lot of stuff happens in 10 years. And now like looking back, you're like, look how far we've come, you know? Yeah. And now, uh, Brent, you have a son who just turned a year old. Mm -hmm. So happy birthday to him. Um, that was just like a crazy, I don't know. I just was looking through everything and it kind of made me cry a little bit. It was like first, like big show that you guys did other than Bernie Sanders, which was fucking awesome, was like 2017. And it, I don't know, it just kind of was a trip to me. Uh, speaking of Bernie Sanders, um, you guys did do his rally this past year uh, before this lockdown. Was it or was it 2019? 2019. Was 20, yeah, 2019. Yep. So me and Christy are standing in the bathroom at that. We had no idea that you guys did. You guys know you were doing that very far in advance or was that kind of on the fly? It was on the fly. It was uh, maybe maybe a day or two. Uh, we got we got notice and uh, we showed up. <laughs> who asks you to do that like where does that call even come from that that came from uh that came from michigan united uh or that came from rashida talib's camp so cool um, yeah we're standing in the bathroom and i hear and i go that's not pass a lock well right and i come running out and i'm like holy shit <laughs> and we were free it was really cool to see you guys on stage and uh yeah, yeah that was the trip Shout so out I'm to glad. Shout out Jack White. Whoop, whoop. Oh yeah, Jack. You know what? I was actually more excited about you guys, and I'm not even saying that to be mean. That was a cool moment for me. And uh, the marching band. I'm a huge marching band person, so yeah, that so I was good. also like up dancing for that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it said you know when I was reading through Milo's article that this new music uh, you've been working on for the last eight years. Does that mean that you? wrote all this stuff over eight years and then recorded it this last year? Or is this stuff that you've been slowly recording over eight years? Yeah, the latter. We've been uh, slowly recording for the last eight years. Um, you know, we talked about in that article with Jeff, just like this, this process of like, you know, not being um, confident with, with the recordings. Like, you know, and I think about just, just, just the times that we were recording that project and, I talk about like the rewrite, like the power of the rewrite. Sometimes it's like not even rewriting it. It's just like re-recording it, you know, to make it sound exactly how you want it to sound. And I know, I know me, Brian and Zach put a lot of time in, in making sure it sounded, sounded like how we wanted it to sound. I definitely thought Zach was an interesting choice because he's done so many of the albums that I love, but nothing like what you guys have done. Uh, what made you decide to work with him? That was, uh, that goes, I mean, years back. I mean, yeah, 2012. So it was like, we were, it was just after Zeba Hazy Summer or something like that. And we were, we we're working with, you know, a few different producers. We were working uh, with the Ashleys a little bit at the time. Um, shouts to, to Tom and Steve. Um, and then we started working with Zach. We started just we just felt like a really natural connection we started working with him we were introduced um via chris johnson i believe um and he said hey you should meet zach we should you should work together and i don't think at the time zach had done any rap but like we we just like started connecting we started working in the studio 
and it just felt really natural and we just kept kept going because it was fun and it was like uh usually we're just working with beats and that's that's fun and that's like a, a how i've worked the majority of like writing songs but with zach it was a whole different experience that was like it, it led to some really interesting songs that uh you hear on the record now yeah and there's like a little bit of chanting and like wop wop like i don't know just some choruses like you can really it's a party album in a lot of ways and i just was like i could picture myself listening to it and like how much fun I'd be having at a live show. Like, oh, this would be the hook. Oh, we'd all be dancing to this part. Like, you know, and then there was a couple of serious tracks. And then uh, Joni, I've heard you guys perform that so many times live. It was nice to finally hear that recorded. Um, it sounds great. Um, and then the single and like the sort of video is this Catman dance thing. You have to explain it to me. I don't understand. Is there something I'm not understanding? Like, I feel like there's something I'm not getting. Like, there's a dance. Am I supposed to dance along to it? Am I supposed to already know about a dance? I feel like there's something I'm already supposed to know that I'm not getting. Hmm. <laughs> Are you using your claws, not your hands? And it says, wear my gloves. And I'm like, why am I supposed to wear my gloves? And why, when it cuts to you guys, is only Brent wearing gloves and Brian's not wearing gloves? And then the cat guy's wearing gloves. Like, what am I missing here? Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Brent, you want to take this one? <laughs> um, I, I, so for me, I think music videos can be very repetitive. Um, and so, I mean, you know, think about, think about the, the, the Zach ships, like electric six music videos and like the sounds and the visuals that he produced over the years. I think we wanted to go for something a little bit more just like atypical. And, uh, that's what came out for like from, from the sound, uh, and the song itself to, to the actual visual visuals. Um, we wanted it to be, uh, different. I mean, it is different. It's good. It's catchy. It's fun. I like it. I'm just like, I don't know. I just, I, I loved it. I just was like, there's something I'm not getting here. Like, I, I, I don't know. You guys are very clever. And sometimes I feel like I'm not as clever and I'm not in on the inside joke for some reason. You're listening to the song. So I feel like you're in, you know, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And also the other special thing that I was going through when I was going through your website is you obviously have a lot of new merch on sale uh, and you have a lot of the proceeds, not only from the album and the merch and a special crew neck going to living arts. So I wanted to ask you guys a little bit about that. What, you know, what the association is with that, why you want to support them. Sure. Uh, so Living Arts is an organization that supports virtual learning right now um, in a major way. So um, prior to COVID, um, Living Arts was um, in over 20 schools um, with residencies for students to learn um, different art forms, whether it be music, dance, uh, theater, or visual arts. And so uh, since COVID, we've, we've gone all virtual. So we have artists on our staff that uh, teach art strategies to teachers and students and babies, um, you know, for families to get, to have something to do throughout the day. So um, my day-to-day -day, like benefits job is living arts. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, like as a program director, manager. And uh, it's important that, you know, we employ our artists and, and have uh, fun things and activities to do for, for students and families. Um, That's so, great. Yeah, so, you know, we have a, a annual fund um, that we started, um, you can go to livingartsdetroit.org um, and check out, you know, what we're doing uh, to raise money. Um, and then Brian, you know, was the 100th donor. Um, yeah. So it was only appropriate to kind of like double up and, and, and share promo and, and really like, you know, in the nonprofit space, I think it's important that artists, you know, um, yeah, give back. 
well and help you know train the next generation of artists and kind of teach them how to make things I don't know I always feel like it's my job at this point to teach younger people how to do it better than I did I'm like here's everything I did wrong don't do this move forward yeah 100% Yep. I feel like it's the best insight that you can give people at this point. And I love the designs. Um, those were done by Zach, right? No, the, I'm sorry. Those were done by Nathan Bortz, right? Uh, yeah, Bortz did, I think, just about all of them. The the Banglatown crew neck uh, is from the Banglatown EP that uh, Jim Cherwick uh, drew. But Did the um, special shirt of you guys. Yeah. yeah. And then Nathan uh, also did the the album cover and he's done a lot of our flyers over the years and, and stuff. So um, yeah, so I've always collaborating with him is fun. Yeah. Yeah, he does really good work. So yeah, definitely. I know you guys have pre-orders going on right now for like the first round of things. So uh, in a lot of it, you can get the shirt and the album or a cool sticker. There's a Bernie sticker. Uh, Brian, I have to give you a shout out today. Everybody was doing their cool Bernie memes. And you came out hard with some green screen sitting next to Bernie. And it was the best. It taught me the best way to order the album, the best way to listen to the album, which is on Bandcamp. And uh, it was funny as hell. I don't know how uh, you just whipped that up, but kudos. I, I, had, I had to get the meme in, like, there's only about that much more time you have before. I mean, I feel like it's it's gone <laughs> crazy and i was like well by the time to- this interview comes out it's done we both know that everyone's gonna go uh the meme uh but yeah but i felt like yeah well, let's just do another way like let's just go into it as opposed oh no to- yours was the best like you I won know. today for me uh i do social media for a living so i had to do it for four different clients and i'm not somebody who's doing a lot of photoshopping sure. so first it was planet ant then it was hip in detroit then I was doing it for the uh, Ferndale. I was laughing and you're right. I There was one at four o'clock. I'm like, is it too late? No. And it's already got 200 likes. So it wasn't too late. Not too <laughs> late. Get, get the likes while you can. And then, and then we're out. But uh, I'm, <laughs> and also, yeah, the promo was too, to like people just like, I feel like we want to know that like you can support artists through Bandcamp, not just us, so many artists. It's just the best way to, to support them. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's fun to pull out the green screen every once in a while. Yeah, it was awesome. And uh, it was very helpful. So yes, everybody head over to Bandcamp to look through all the merch and the album. You can listen to it on there. I listened to it today, both on Spotify and on Bandcamp with switching back and forth. Got into your guys' Christmas stuff. Remembered that James Link did that song. Ended up on James Link's page. Got really deep and was like, wait, you're doing research on Pasolacqua. Stop listening to James Link. Listening to House Phone, going back to the Rain Bros. I listen to House Phone all the time. I'm not going to lie. We love House Phone. We all, this is a House I'm, Phone. This should be, a, we should just talk about House Phone. We could just do that. <laughs> hey, give, the interview. give catalog. Oh my goodness. I just, yeah, I do. And I actually have a bunch of those like old vinyls and stuff. That's how I met James was, you know, I threw you guys and through that whole little group back in the day, which has just put out so much great music. And speaking of, I wanted to mention that both of you guys still do your own projects and both of you have been putting out music on, through your own avenues uh, too. So um, as Mr. and the Blacksmith. So I'll put links to that in this video, but um, there's, much more in the universe of Pastelac was this for some reason this is your first time checking this out or stumbling upon them uh you have a deep long way to go so <laughs> um congratulations you guys i i've been really enjoying it and uh it's exciting to get new music the only sad part is that we can't be together and party true true although i haven't even had a drink in months i don't even know what a party sadie would be like anymore it's all about tea these days I feel it. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things you don't you don't lose it. So I feel like <laughs> once we get back, we'll be okay. We're gonna jump right on that horse. <laughs> we gonna I think so. I'd love to be at St. <laughs> Andrews right now, watching you guys on stage, just feeling that energy. You guys always have been the two people who could turn up a group in a way. No, I mean you turn up a fucking Bernie Sanders rally, like. <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> and that was a lot of different types of people. And that's okay. something else I appreciate too, is with your shows and your music, uh, it always brought different groups in Detroit together. There was no this sort of genre, this sort of genre. Um, and your music mi- mixes all the different genres. There's different, you know, reflections of a lot of different things in there when I listen and I appreciate it. 
So thank you. And just another thing I love about you guys is when I listen to your verses, how different your flows are and like how I can distinctly tell immediately who's talking and um, same beat, but you can switch up the flow and make it so different. And it's, I don't know, I just very much appreciate it. And I appreciate your talents and, uh, and artistry that I don't have. So <laughs> it's a way with words, it's beautiful. We appreciate you, yeah, um, um, which is why it was like a no no brainer to to jump on this on this interview with you you and Christy, and uh, we appreciate you all. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I can't wait till we're doing this again in person. So cool, everybody. I will put links to everything uh, below this, but definitely support local music. Make sure that you follow so you can keep up with not only the best memes from Brian, but the latest music from both of these guys. Um, so I'll put the links to both your Instagrams in there too. And uh, yeah, what what is your hope for 2021? First, Brian, go. Hope for 2021 um, that there's a little less stress that we can uh, hopefully by the end of the year have a really like riotous fun show. Um, but uh, I just want everybody to be, to, to do your best out there amidst the circumstances. Just keep, keep pushing forward. That, that's why I say keep pushing forward. Nice. Yeah. What about you, Brent? Um, I would say, you know, get those, get those Z's, get that rest um it's important um i think we all go hard you know uh we all go 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 hard in the paint for what we do and what we believe in so make sure you get that that rest at the end of the night you know the number one thing that i learned this year is that if i give myself the rest if i give myself because i know you're the same kind of person brent where you're always going 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 pushing trying working um the work is better anyways like if I take the pause, yep. you know, and it's like, sometimes I just have to remember like, no, you're actually going to do this better tomorrow. Go eat a snack or walk or, yep. you know, I've done a lot of walking this year, a lot of walking and a lot of riding my bike. And yep. I enjoyed both a lot. So it's a good pause. Yes. You got to take those, take those pauses. Yep. Ready for unpause. <laughs> mm -hmm. So awesome. Well, thank you guys for chatting with us and thank you guys for watching. <laughs>